what's up what's up what's up everybody welcome back to the channel listen let's get on into this story with tiffany haddish child we're gonna get into the story with jason lee as well child tiffany haddish finally breaks her silence y'all y'all know how we do this is your boy chef don don with another video let's get on into it right after this introduction child What up, 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 everybody? This is your boy, Chef Don Don, here with another video. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And please, 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 please make sure you like this video. And y'all, follow me on all social media platforms. Join my Patreon, join the YouTube membership. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can be a cash app at Chef Don Don 2 or via Venmo at Chef Don Don 2 as well. Listen, y'all, I want to get into this story here really quick in regards to Tiffany Haddish, Jason Lee, and um, Ari Spears. Now, if you don't know and you've been hiding under a rock, Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears have been accused of um, the M word. You know what I'm saying? Well, Tiffany had broken her silence through her attorney prior to this, saying that this was a shakedown, this was a takedown, and all of this good, I mean, just, just, just was saying stuff, right? Well, I want to get into a couple of things that has taken place when it comes to Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears, right? And then we're going to get into what Jason Lee has to say, because he has threatened to kind of sort of put out the information of the John Doe and the John, and, and the the John Doe and the Jane Doe, um, which one of the ones is still a little underage. And I hope Jason Lee does not anticipate on doing so. But let's get into this story here really quick. Um, so I'm going to read this article from People. Um, it says Tiffany Haddish is speaking out after being accused of the N word. Last Tuesday, a 22 year old woman identified as Jane Doe sued Haddish 42 and comedian Ari Spears, 47, in the California Superior Court for Los Angeles County of the, uh, on behalf of herself and the minor identified as John Doe. Again, y'all, I believe that John Doe is, if I'm not mistaken, is 15, which is her younger brother. In the court documents obtained by people, Jane alleged, alleged that Haddish groomed the plaintiffs, leaving them traumatized for life. Now, I told y'all prior to me doing this video, I done another video where I, I, I was live pretty much talking about this particular situation, just kind of letting you know where I felt like all of this was particularly wrong at, right? But let's get back into this article. The plaintiff claimed that Haddish was a longtime friend, family friend, right, of her mother, and that in 2013, when John, when Jane Doe was 14, Haddish took her to the taping of a sexually suggested subway commercial that Haddish alleged, allegedly said would help Jane Doe get on television and would be a, included in her teenage film reel. Kind of baked them in a little bit. You hear that? During the taping, Haddish allegedly instructed Jane Doe on how to perform inappropriate acts after watching a man and a woman in a video. In a statement on Instagram Monday morning, Haddish wrote, I know people have a bunch of questions. I get it. I'm right there with you. Unfortunately, because there is an ongoing legal case, there's very little that I can say right now. But she continued, clearly... While this, while this uh, sketch was intended to be a, a comedic, it wasn't funny at all. It was not funny at all. And I'm, I'm still triggered by it. I watched that video and I'm still triggered by it. 
And so I am ha- having a hard time reporting this, y'all, because again, I said that I am triggered by this, but we need to be heard. This needs to be heard. This needs to be out there, right? So she said, I, I deeply regret having agreed to act in it. I really look forward to being able to share a lot more about the situation as soon as I can. Per the filing, plaintiff John Doe was allegedly M word by Spears in 2014 after Haddish told him he would be taping a reel for Nickelodeon at Spears' home. Ooh. Oh. While while there, Haddish allegedly told Jane Doe that she needed John Doe alone and took him in the room where Spears began M, the then seven-year-old on film. The plaintiff's court documents claim Haddish witnessed the alleged incident and allies abetted and watched Spears sexually M-word a child. <sighs> okay, y'all, I gotta take my time with this, okay? Because this this is this is a lot. This is a lot. Uh John Doe said in a statement that Spears and Haddish gave him a drink that made him sleepy and happy face candy. Haddish also allegedly paid the siblings one hundred dollars, he said. Hundred dollars, girl? Like, you can't pay nobody to do this type of... Like, what? The plaintiffs were both minors and were incapable of consenting to participating in these acts in graphic videos disturbed and published via Funny or Die platform and a lawsuit said, adding, there was no parent or guardian present. Haddish and Spears are being sued for in- intentional and in- infliction of emotional distress, gross negligence, sexual battery, sexual harassment, and sexual abuse of a minor. Oh my goodness. Haddish is also sued for negligence, supervision failure to warn breach of duty and constructive fraud. In a statement to people, Funny or Die said, Funny or Die found this video absolutely disgusting and would never produce such content. We were not involved with this at all, they basically are saying. And in 2018, the videos were removed immediately and did not come, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was uploaded to the site as a user-generated content and was removed in 2018 immediately after becoming aware of its existence. Haddish's lawyer said in a statement about the lawsuit that the plaintiff's mother has been trying to um, assert these bogus claims against Ms. Haddish for several years. Every attorney has initially taken on to her case, and there were several. Ultimately, dropped the matter once it became clear that the claim were, uh, you know, pretty much something that she said she didn't do. And she said that this was a mis- uh, Ms. Haddish would not be shaken down. What? Added the attorney. Now the mother has her adult daughter representing herself in this lawsuit. The two of them will together face the consequences of pursuing the action. Spears lawyers also said in a statement that he isn't going to fall for any shakedown. If you are someone, if you or someone you know has been a victim of this type of stuff please text strength to the crisis text text line at 741-741 to be connected to a certified crisis counselor y'all again this stuff is important and we do have to talk about it i don't know if uh, youtube is going to monetize this video in this sense because of what i am uh, particularly talking about but I really just want you guys to open your eyes and see this this was not funny at all right and I get what Tiffany Haddish is doing she's trying to you know put it all on Aries uh, uh, Aries Spears Aries Spears by the sound of what she's saying right so for me it's 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 one of those things where since at some point you do have to take full responsibility for what you did 
because you were in that room and the videos don't lie. The videos do not lie. The videos do not lie. So there is a lot that you need to do um, because this is this is this is not right. This is not right. And again, I told y'all I'm very triggered by stuff like this because again, it brings back childhood memories or memories of me having to deal with this type of stuff in my life. So what I want to get into now is Jason Lee, right? So Jason Lee and Tiffany Haddish are really, really good friends. And most of you know that I really don't care for Jason Lee, right? I don't care for Jason Lee because of some of the things that he represents in this community, right? If you want us to back you up in this community, you always seem to throw um, our community under the bus, right? So I just have a big issue, and you could kind of take that our community as what you, how you want to take it. But Jason Lee is a very problematic person, in my opinion, right? Jason Lee took to his um, took to his Twitter, and he had some things to say. He said, um, "I've been watching the whole uh, Ari Spears uh, skit featuring Tiffany in a child stories role out all week, and I've been waiting for the." real time to weigh in working on the t y'all don't know lol again it's not funny bro ain't nothing about this funny the internet is a wild playground the skit is clearly trash but there's a conversation not happening because details are missing oh and i'm going to reveal people behind the lawsuit no john or jane does here well first of all let's get something understood i wish you would I wish you would. I wish you would. Docs, these people's information, I told you, I believe that um, John Doe is underage still. And Jane Doe is 22 years old. You docs a 22 year old, that would definitely be in bad taste. But if you decide to dox this 15 year old, we have a problem. We have a problem, Jason Lee. That's not cool. And let me say this to you. For you to be an advocate in the LGBT community, and you talk about your childhood and what you went through your childhood, you make this stuff okay? You have a serious problem and you're sick, dude. You are absolutely sick. This is not okay. There's not an easy way to go about this. There's not an easy way to look at this. There's not an easy way to do any of this. This is so wrong in so many ways. And we have to speak out on this type of stuff. I am literally like, again, when I done this live video yesterday talking about this, I'm literally shaking again because again, this just bring back so many memories I don't understand why people think that this is funny. I don't understand why people are gaining so much behind this. Like, this is not cool. This is not cool. And we got to have conversations and talk about this type of stuff, y'all. So, again, here is Tiffany Haddish's statement. I know people have a bunch of questions. I get it. I'm right there with you. Unfortunately, because this is an ongoing legal case, there's very little that I can say right now. But clearly, while this the sketch was intended to be comedic it wasn't funny at all and it wasn't love it was not funny at all and i deeply um i deeply regret having agreed to act in this i really look uh forward to being able to share a lot more of this situation as soon as i can i just again i'm i guess i'm Running across that video yesterday was very heartbreaking to to look at. It was so heartbreaking to look at. Like I I I, I couldn't fathom the first few seconds of that entire that video. It's it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Anyone who is saying that this is okay, you are sick and you have a problem. And I said what the hell I said, and I meant all of it. I meant all of it, all of it. I know what my eyes seen. I know what my eyes seen. I get it. They are gonna have to go by Los Angeles law. I understand that. I understand that completely. But from what I saw, these two people, 
I will never be able to see them the same again. And actually, let me add a third person to that. Tiffany Haddish, Jason Lee, and Ari uh, Spears. I will never see you all the same. Not that I saw Ari Spears in a different way before this, but what I am going to say to you now is I really don't see it for any one of you all. So, y'all, please, again, I told you this was going to be a touchy subject. Um, this was going to be one of those situations where, you know, some may be triggered. Some may be triggered in this particular instance. And I just pray that if you are dealing with anything that triggers you in this in this whole thing that, that we're dealing with, I pray again that things get better for you. Because again, traumatic experiences, when they resurface, they are hard to deal with again, right? Even when you're in counseling and you're dealing with the traumatic experiences, again, when they come up or when situations like them come up or arise again, it can be very frustrating and it can be very hard to take in. So again, y'all, let me know what your thoughts are below in the comment section from this statement on down to the Jason Lee threatened to dox the John Doe and the Jane Doe. Anyway, y'all, until the next video, y'all, again, drop down in them comments and let me know what you think. I'll see y'all in the next one. Please, please, please make sure you like this video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any time that I go live. All right, y'all. Happy Labor Day and enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Peace out.